Previously, we learned about handling GET requests. Now, let's explore how to handle POST requests. Let's start with Thunder Client. We'll keep our previous GET request and create a new request. First, select POST as the HTTP verb. Next, copy over the URL. HTTP localhost 3000 slash comments. Next, we need to specify a new comment object to add to our comments array. Head over to the body tab and under JSON, add an object. The key in quotes is text and the value is new comment. Notice how we are not specifying an ID that will be generated by our handler function. When we click send, we get a status 405 error, method not allowed. Let's fix that by adding a handler for this post request. Going back to our route.ts file in the comments folder, we will define and export a new function. Export async function post. Remember, it is crucial that our function name matches the HTTP verb we want to handle. Each route handler function gets a standard web request object as a parameter. Request of type request. We extract the JSON body from this request by calling and awaiting request.json. This gives us the object we have specified in Thunder Client. Let's store it in a constant called common. Then we create a new comment object. So const new comment is equal to an object. We set the ID to the current length of our comments array plus one. So comments dot length plus one and use the text from our request body. So text is comment dot text. We add this new comment to our comments array using push. Comments dot push new comment. Now for the response, we could use response.json, but that would give us a 200 status code. Since we are creating a new resource with our post request, a 201 status is more appropriate. So return new response, passing in our new comment as JSON. So JSON.stringify new comment, setting the content type to application slash JSON in headers and using status code 201 to indicate successful resource creation. Back in Thunder Client, when we hit send now, we get a 201 created status and a new comment as the response, ID4 text new comment. If we switch to our get request tab and hit send again, we will see all four comments, including a new one. And that is the essence of handling post requests. Define your post handler, process the request body, and send back an appropriate response. Please note that any changes to comments will only exist in memory and won't be saved to file system. A comments array will still contain only three comments. All right, now that we have got this down, let's move on to exploring dynamic route handlers. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.